You never cease to amuse me, Cecil. Go Bez! When the cat is away, the mice will play. The game ends now. Don't get no closer than that! Sid! Where's Yang? We've lost a good man. And who's she? Rhea. She's a summoner from Myth. Damn, they're still on to me! Can we lose them? I don't know. They have definitely upgraded the right wing. They're, they're catching up. Come on, baby, you can do it. It's not gonna last. Cecil, take over. Sin. Where are you going? Once it flies out of here, <coughs> here to the surface, I'm gonna seal the entrance with this bomb. <coughs> wait, wait. Oh yeah. Heading on back to Baron afterwards, and talk to me then, man. Cecil? Cecil? It could get... Could, uh. <laughs> so hey everyone! Welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV of Kiss Blue. As you can see, I sort of jumped right into it, this one. Literally... I ran into that... The event was called Bez. Literally a step before I was about to stop and start recording again. So I figured why not go with it, you know? As you can see, Gobez tried to kill us, then we got saved by Sid, and now he's about to blow himself up. <laughs> so anyway, Cecil, take good care of Rosa. Treat her well. No, there has to be another way. Sid, don't, please don't. Hey, best Uncle Sid to you. Remember, head for Barrett <laughs> immediately. Huh. Now this is what I call going out with a bang. Ha ha ha! So yeah, he just exploded. Sid, why? <laughs> Everyone cho chooses death too quickly. <laughs> Let's head to Baron. So, yeah, that did happen. I mean, that time Sid blew himself up before he even had a chance to join the party. That's sort of harsh. It's a real shame, too. Sid was a great guy. Ah, uh, poor Sid. You will be missed. But first, I really gotta save. Okay, now that that's done with... To Baron! 
Although I was supposed to just go to the castle. Well, I'm gonna do this first. So just a sec. Right, and now that that's done with, to Baron Pro Well, actually, I'm gonna stay in the inn first. And now to Baron Proper. Baron Castle, that is. <coughs> um, I don't know who I need to talk to, though. I can't believe the game. Not you. Um. Oh, actually, while I'm here, we're gonna take a bit of a detour. I think those are Sid's men, but first, the detour. Um, there's a sack. Yay, the sinking! Okay then. Cause yeah, this could kill me. So, oh, which reminds me. Should really be equipped with this. And you should really be equipped with, um, I could have sworn I had some holy arrows. Wait, these are still less damage? <clears throat> right, dark arrows. Because... Cecil. Your Majesty! Venture to the land of summons. Before you return, I shall help you then. Yes, Your Majesty. Huh. You know... Huh. I knew that I needed to do that, but I actually thought you fought, um... Okay, you need to do this to get one of the summons for Rydia. She doesn't have all of them that she'll ever have right now, obviously. But she doesn't earn them for leveling up either. You need to fight them in order to gain their power. Most of those you do that in the land of summons. You just go up to them and fight them, pretty much. I had thought that with this one you fought him in the throne room. And I know you need to do this event in order to, you know, get that this particular summon. Um just apparently not here. Hello, Cecil. The boss ordered us to attach this hook to the Enterprise. It won't take long. Hook? What hook? <laughs> what are they doing? Well, attaching a hook, I guess. <laughs> I still want to know what hook. It's done. Now you can hoist and carry the hover. Oh! Just fly the Enter Enterprise right over the hovercraft and press the A button to load and unload a vehicle. With both the vehicles, you can pretty much go anywhere now, even the cave of Evelyn by the Tower of Babel. There's something I must tell you about. It's about Sid. He's impossible. Yeah, we know. With all that crazy energy, I can't imagine he'll ever check out. Please be with him a while longer. Oh. Ah, can't even tell them. So let's go pick up that hovercraft. I was wondering if we would get... If that would become a useful game. I mean, it seemed like a thing that would happen, but... I certainly couldn't remember. So, the hint, obviously, was, hey, go to the Cave of Evelyn by the Tower of Babel. I'm want, sort of want to spend time looking at the other stuff I can get with this, though. I'm not going to do that on camera, though, because, yeah, you don't want to see that. Trust me. Although, actually, now that I've said that... I've... let's see... Uh-huh. Uh-huh.
Oh hey, there's that mountain by Mithra. I haven't been there. Um, I haven't been there either. <coughs> okay. I think this is too... Wait. Chocobo Isle. I haven't been there, have I? Um... Okay, you know what? I said I wasn't going to take a detour, but I lied. There's only a few locations I haven't been to, so... With one of them being... Let's see... Around here. Wait, really? That doesn't seem to measure out. Like, there's nothing here. This is the right place, isn't it? Um, yeah, it is. Maybe it's, it's probably just a chocobo forest. Let's go look. Yep, Chocobo Forest. Oh, well, well, I'm here anyway. I'm carrying a lot of crap that I don't really want to be carrying. Okay. Now, let's just catch one of these so it's quicker. Um, I actually don't want to go straight back to the airship, though. I want to run up here. And... To here. Because I want a black chocobo. I don't think I've been to the chocobo aisle, but I'm... As I was saying, but I'm pretty sure I know how to get there. Unless I'm completely wrong, you need a black chocobo. And we'll find out. Oh, I can totally just land here. <laughs> okay. Chocobo Island. Okay. That just leaves one more place to check. Once I get a new chocobo to come on. Haha! <laughs> Best music ever. Now then, to Mithril. I don't want to buy their stuff anymore. But I'm pretty. But the last spot on the map I haven't been to, I'm pretty sure it was off of Mithril. Let's see if I can even find Mithril. <laughs> okay, I'm at Mount Hobbs. That's actually pretty close. Ah uh, ha! Right here. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, this is probably the cave I'm supposed to go into. <laughs> Just looking at its location? I can't think of anywhere else that would make sense. No, this is called Edmund Gravo. Grotto. Well, I'm still going there. So let's see. Ooh. Dad found an unusual ore here, but he's ra but he'd rather find unusual animal tails. He likes collecting them. Beat it! I'll talk to you only when you bring me back a tail. Do I have any tails? Man, I am. Well, that explains where this is, but unless I am mistaken. He wants the cat tail. Well, there's more tails than just the cat tail, I think. But the cat tail sticks out of my mind because 
Basically, here's the lowdown. The cattail, you can only get from one enemy in the game. It is a very rare drop from that enemy. And the enemy itself has only a very small chance to appear in only one area. It's basically a we're gonna make you grind because we're assholes thing, and it's really not worth getting. If you're a completionist, a completionist, then you might want to, but even then, I'm sticking with it's not worth getting. You just shouldn't need it. That said, I, it seems I don't have anything better to do on the surface, so into the cave! Save again. Okay, I should tell you now, we're coming up really close to the limit of my experience in this game. I've completed this next dungeon up to the boss at the end, and that's as far as I've ever played in Final Fantasy IV. So after that, there's going to be way more me screwing up. Like, more than already. So if that have, with that having been said, I'm going to cut off here for now. So join me next time with Final Fantasy IV when we explore the cave of Derpeter. Until then, this has been Chaos Blue. See ya.